हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ साइंस क्लास सिक्स वी विल डिस्कस द पार्ट टू ऑफ क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर टू फूड एंड इट्स कंपोनेंट ओके येस्टरडे इन पार्ट वन वी डिस्कस्ड अराउंड ट्वेंटी नाइन क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी नाइन क्वेश्चन ऑफ वेरी शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप ओके सो लेट्स डिस्कस सम मोर क्वेश्चन टूडे write the names of sources of proteins and what are their functions in our body the sources of proteins are beans soya beans and gram etc proteins are needed for the growth and repair of our body proteins are needed for the growth and repair of our body okay got it dear students Let's move to next question. Write the two functions of vitamins. Two functions of vitamins are as follows. Vitamins helps in protecting our body against diseases. Okay, first function to protect our body from disease. Second function, they help in keeping our eyes and gums healthy. Okay. Vitamins are helpful in keeping our eyes and gums. Gums, you know, masude, huh? Okay, healthy. So let's move to question number next. That is question number three. What is the importance of water in our body? Very easy to answer. Water helps. our body to absorb nutrients to absorb nutrients from the food it also helps in throwing some waste also helps in throwing some waste from body as urine and sweat okay okay dear students what are the task of water the task are to absorb nutrients from the food first second task is the removal of waste from the body in the form of urine and sweat okay let's move further name the food sources rich in dietary fiber food sources which are rich in dietary fibers are whole grains pulses potatoes fruits and vegetables these are mainly provided by the plant products in our body got it dear students sources are whole grains pulses potatoes fruits and vegetables and they are mainly provided by the plant products in our body okay let's move further why proteins are called building blocks of the body proteins are called building blocks of the body because they are needed for the growth and repair of the body that's why they are called building blocks okay they will help out to repair the worn out tissues as well as the wounds in our body that can be recovered with the help of certain proteins okay and they definitely help in the growth of the body also next question choose the correct option oil rich in oils is rich in fats definitely lemons contains vitamin c very easy to pick we also studied about the sources of vitamin c lemon as well as orange we studied in our previous class and we also studied about that the fats is obtained from the oil rich food items next question what is roughage why is roughage essential component of our food instead of roughage another word dietary fiber can also be used okay 
so don't be confused with the change in minor statement either it is uh, roughage or dietary fiber both are having same meaning so roughage is essential component of our food and adds adds to its bulk as this helps our body to get rid of undigested foods undigested food okay so clear clear dear students roughage are very much essential those food items which are undigested or not digested they will be they will be uh, digested with the help of dietary fibers or roughage okay let's move to next question what is a balanced diet this you also study in your junior classes also the diet that contains all the nutrients in the right quantities or amount or in ratio and it also contains good amount of roughage or dietary fiber and water is called balanced diet okay balanced diet santulit ahar it is also known in hindi santulit ahar next question what are the deficiency disease disease that occur due to the lack of nutrients disease that occur due to the lack of nutrients over long period of time are called deficiency disease disease which occur due to the deficiency of nutrients for a longer period of time are called deficiency disease next question match the following okay vitamin a it is this we got from carrot vitamin b this we got from liver vitamin c this we got from lemon and vitamin d from sunlight sun sun is the rich source of vitamin d okay and lemon and orange are the rich source of vitamin c okay let's move to next question now why are minerals essential for our body minerals are necessary or needed for the proper growth for the proper growth and maintaining good health maintaining good health that's why minerals are necessary that's why minerals are necessary for us okay let's move to next question let's move to next question which disease is caused by the deficiency of vitamin given vitamins it is vitamin a cause the night blindness vitamin c cause the scurvies vitamin d cause rickets okay as i told you earlier also when we discussed about the vitamins there we also discussed the disease caused by vitamin a it is blind night blindness and uh, vitamin c is cause uh, the deficiency of vitamin c causes scurvy and the vitamin d causes rickets okay let's move further match the following okay okay let's find out the match okay eating of junk food it these foods are rich in rich in fats so they can cause from the column second see the third option it is obesity then lack of iron in diet lack of iron in diet causes anemia okay L lack of iodine lack of iodine it is goiter okay excessive cooking of food 
excessive cooking of food will cause in the loss of vitamin C okay then absence of exposure to sunlight leads to leads to it leads to rickets we have just discussed in the previous question lack of proteins lack of proteins can cause kawasikor another disease kawasikor okay lack of vitamin b1 it causes beriberi no fiber in diet it can cause constipations cause constipations eating vitamin c rich diet eating vitamin c rich diet it produces or provides healthy gums okay it provides healthy gums now let's discuss next question write two foods rich in two foods rich in fats oil and ghee or butter carbohydrate or starch bread and potato bread and potato proteins eggs and pulses vitamin a papaya and carrot vitamin c orange and lemon vitamin b1 beef and liver vitamin d salmon fish and egg walks with calcium milk and yogurt iodine seafood and iodized salt seafood and iodized salt remember these it will definitely help out you for answering mcqs as well as fill in the blanks true or false or matching type questions okay let's move to next part classify the food items into carbohydrate fats protein sweet potato ground okay uh, in three categories carbohydrates fats and proteins examples are sweet potato ground nuts to our uh, to our dal potato sugar cane nuts gram milk moong butter ghee soybean cream wheat paneer rice bajra okay we have to classify them in three categories Car category 1 carbohydrates sweet potato potato sugar cane wheat wheat rice bajra second is ground nuts nuts milk butter ghee cream okay and the protein source are to our dal gram moong soybean paneer they are rich source of proteins okay okay dear students so thank you everyone for paying attention to these important questions these questions will definitely be helpful for you in understanding the concepts discussed in theory also okay dear take care bye bye dear students tomorrow we will discuss the third part of questions of this chapter okay till then take care bye bye dear students okay dear students bye take care have a good day dear students bye bye